Monroe County is one of the most enjoyable places to live in South Florida, thanks to its proximity to the sea and tourist attractions. However, sea level rise is becoming a major concern. The Florida Keys are really the canary in the coal mine when it comes to climate change and sea level rise, considering that we're just an island chain of low-lying islands. We're likely, at least in the state of Florida, to see the effects of sea level rise um, more quickly than anybody else. Studies done by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration show how much more Monroe County has been impacted with sea level rise compared to Miami-Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach. It shows clearly that in the last hundred years we've had a rise, and it goes up and down like sort of like the stock market. It goes up and down, but it goes up, it's gone up about nine inches in the last, and you see the projections here in the 20-year horizon and the 50-year horizon of about in the 50-year horizon, and it's a big spread, and it gets bigger as you go on between 9 and 24 inches, and that we need to prepare for in the next 50 years. One of the biggest issues that we're facing right now certainly is related to climate change and sea level rise. We're talking about something that's going to really realistically affect the Keys um, in small respects with nuisance flooding. It's going to affect the Keys here in the next 15 years. But as we keep on top of the things that um, are problems like our lowest roads and our lowest neighborhoods and we put in place uh, priorities for redevelopment. So if you're going, your house floods, let's say your house floods three times, um, you can't keep rebuilding it where it is. You have to do something about it. Uh, the neighbors that have been most affected by the sea level rising uh, would be Isla Mirada. Uh, we do know that they are the ones that has had the most impact in sea level rising. In Isla Mirada, houses like this are at such low level that marks such as these show that floods have happened in the area due to the rising seas. Here are some projected scenarios done by the government of Monroe County. This is the U.S. 1 in the area of Isla Mirada now. And this is what would happen in the area if the sea level rises 3 inches by 2030. This is if the sea level rises 9 inches by 2060. And this is if the sea level rises 24 inches by 2060. Real estate agents are already making plans to protect their businesses. Uh, there has been talk in the real estate world that uh, we, we will start doing a disclosure. A disclosure the same way how you have a lead-based paint disclosure, there will be one for sea level rising in particular areas that will be a concern. Monroe County government officials are evaluating the cost of preparation. But you don't just look at the cost, what it costs to implement measures to help us deal with sea level rise. You look at what it costs us not to do anything because many times it's more expensive if you don't do anything because then you're just letting the sea level rise and you're not taking any proactive measures against it. And the cost that we've had, we've done a cost benefit analysis and it makes sense. Like the example of raising the fire station. It costs us about $80,000 to $100,000 extra to raise the fire station a foot and a half. Well, it's a $4 million project. It makes sense. Monroe County real estate and government officials suggest these tips. Before you purchase would be do your due diligence, know the area that you're going to be purchasing, and also have a great real estate agent that is highly knowledgeable of the area and of sea level rising. We can drive less, we can use less disposable products, we can certainly use less energy. The energy that we use in our homes and businesses accounts for 72% of our emissions here in Monroe County. So if we can all get together and use less energy, we're going to produce less emissions. I genuinely think that um, this is the issue of your generation. Thank you.